I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. And I want to give another double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. And enough respect and salutations out there to the Akim doing, doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And for those, or for those that, who do not know the name of the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh, and his son's name, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. And to get, uh, to, um, to lock you, to bring, uh, I guess, the attention to certain people that, um, many people don't know that Yahweh he died for Israel, but he died for the elect of Israel. He died for Israel altogether, but mainly the elect. Because on this side, these are going to be the men that are going to bring in and usher in the way of the kingdom of heaven. Just as John the Baptist did for Yahweh Shai when he was on earth, it's the same thing that the men are doing here on earth. We're proclaiming. Um, the downfall of this kingdom, Esau's kingdom, Edom, and all his wicked system and all, all the uh, atrocities that he's done. It's all going to be done and gone away with, and, and we're going to have a new kingdom. So now the elect men, they're going to be waking up in big numbers, as it, as it states in the book of Ezekiel 37, and when the graves, uh, sorry, uh, Salakia, is when the, uh, basically when the graves are open. And and the men, let's get that. Let's get that. I'm I'm just talking out of my mouth. Let's let's get that right quick. Um, and let's talk about the Valley of the Dry Bones. I want to make this lesson too too long. We can start at verse 9. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and verse 9. Th then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. All right, so that exceeding great army is going to be the elect men. They're going to be the one to uh, usher in in the downfall of this kingdom, bring judgment, and give it unto the Gentiles, as it states right here in uh, Isaiah 42 and 1. So let's let us read. And it reads, Behold, my servant, Salakia, whom, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him, as we just read in the book of Ezekiel 37. Right here, his spirit. He, his spirit is that breath, the breath. It came into them, and now that they live. Let's read that again. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment and unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth and the owl shall wait for his law. Verse 5, thus saith uh, our power, Yahweh, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread it from the earth, Salakia, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Verse uh, 6, Salaki, I just I lost my place. I, the Lord, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness 
and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. And this particularly Gentiles right here is stating uh, the people who are Israel, but they're living the different ways and different customs of the heathen. So therefore they are known as the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. Okay? Many people see uh, they get mixed up, and that's a stumbling block right here when it comes to Gentiles. All right? Verse 7. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, Yahweh. That is my name, and my glory will, not, will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh, a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles, and the, and the inhabitants thereof. Right. So therefore, the Most High is calling his elect men from Yahawashai all the way on down. He has been chosen. He is the, the, he is the son. He is the son of the Most High. He was already chosen, the first spirit to be ever be created by Yahweh, his only begotten son. Then you have Yahweh Shai, and he made the other spirits. The Most High gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint. What that uh, the things that need to be done, and everything is being played out the way that is that it is written. The prophecies are happening right now, and we can see that the elect men are waking up day by day by day. So. That new song that states right here in verse 10, Salakia, uh, that, that song in verse 10, we can read that in uh, Revelations 14 and 1. So let's get that. <clears throat> so Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the, on the Mount Sion, and with him, a hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So then you know the lamb, he's standing on the on Mount Sion over, uh, he, he's the head. Now you're going to have the hundred and forty-four thousand with him. And they all having Yahweh's name in their foreheads. They know the will of the Father, and they're going to do the will of the Father. Verse 2, And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of, of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Verse 3, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth. Verse 4, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. And when you go into women, that goes into different doctrines, different philosophies. So when it says, for they are virgins, it goes to uh, basically saying that they are pure. They have not been penetrated by the different things that are in this world. All right. And it reads on. These are they which follow the lamb, whithsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. Uh, we can 
We can read on some more. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, fear the most high and give glory to him for the hour of, of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. So the elect men, the 144,000, the ones that were redeemed from the earth, the ones that are going to reign with Yahweh they were redeemed from the foundations of the earth. These elect men, they're going to do the will of the Father. They're going to follow the Lamb whatsoever he goeth. So it's letting you know the same things that you see Yahweh Shai went through is the same thing that these men are going to go through. It may be it's going to be the same. Well, I can't really say it's going to be the same, but uh, Salak, I'm just I'm, I'm just I'm babbling too much. But basically, I'm saying they're going to have to go through trials and tribulations for better words, for, for better words. Because the things that Yahweh went through, he went through very excruciating pain. Yeah, we're going to get afflicted and things like that, but it's not going to be to the degree that he had to go through. Many of us are going to have to get beheaded. Many brothers that you see, you're going to see it's going to be a lot of things coming when Jacob's trouble come. And that's going to be the ultimate test. Are you going to keep the faith and keep going? But the elect men, they're going to keep, they're going to keep, uh, they're going to keep the faith and they're going to keep pushing all the way until the end. Just as the scripture says, they go whatsoever uh, the lamb goeth. All right. And to back that up, because when it says that after they bring the gospel out, now, you know, when the when the servants are sealed, now the destruction is getting ready to come. But a scripture to back that up is in Revelation 7 and 1. And let's read that. So this is uh, Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow up on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And that's basically the wind represents destruction. Okay. Verse two. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, the living power, Yahweh. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So it's letting you know, something has to be sealed in these elect men. These men are supposed to be sealed of this new song that states back in Revelations 14 and 1. This new song is going to be the praise. It's going to be all throughout the earth. Everyone is going to hear it. Because then that's when the end shall come, as it states in Matthew uh, 24, uh, the 24th chapter, as Yahweh Shai stated. Destruction cannot come until the servants get sealed. And then when the servants get sealed, they're going to preach it out into the ends of the earth. Now, this is when we're going to see the destruction come shortly after. That's when the end will come. This is when you're going to see the end of Esau and the rise of Jacob. So this is verse um, four. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So all the tribes of the children of Israel. You got 12 tribes. So you got 144,000. You divide that, it's 12,000. So 12,000 times 12 is 
a hundred and forty four thousand which represents the uh the twelve tribes okay that's out of every tribe twelve thousand out of the twelve tribes and they're all gonna know this song and they're gonna sing it with melody with with melody Sal Salakia. It's all going to be on one tune. They're all going to be on one vibration, all on one mind. These elect men are going to be different from all the others. From all of uh, Israel, Salakia. These are going to be the ones reigning with Yahweh You're going to have the one third that's going to get saved. They're going to believe. But the 144,000, they are esteemed being joint hairs with. Yahweh Shai. All right? So the 144,000, Lord willing, I'm one of those men, but we don't know. No one knows. Because it, it states in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, um, I don't I, I don't know the uh, actual verse, but it, it says, Then shall it be known who are my chosen. So no one's not going to know until that future prophecy happens when all the destruction happens, when we see Esau coming in like a flood, this is when we're going to know when the chosen, who, I mean, Salakia, who are the chosen? You may see brothers start getting spiritual power. I mean, we don't know what's, we just know. We're going to know who the chosen are in that day. And I believe it's going to be when the men start getting their spiritual power. Everyone's going to know. So, some characteristics that can, uh, Salakia, that can, um, help you, to, uh, let's see, I don't want to go too much into it. Um, Salakia, I'm just rolling in the spirit, I just put a couple scriptures up, um, about walking in the spirit. Yeah, okay, uh, I think that's what I was trying to say. So, um, when you see these men, they're going to always be, I'm not going to say not always, but most of the time, they're going to be in the spirit. They're not going to look at the carnal things of this life. They're not going to, they're, they're, they're not, the world is not going to choke them in their uh, prosperity in this word. They're going to, they're going to push this word out no matter what. So these elect men, you're not going to see them um, doing, let me see, um, basically committing sin. You're not going to see them out there doing the things that the two-thirds are doing. These are like preserved spirits that, from the Most High because the Most High gave them to Yahweh Shai. So these are hand-picked, initiated souls given unto Yahweh Shai. So this, these these are different type of spirits, and you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna see it. So let's 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 look into the uh, scriptures, and um, we should be able to clarify some things. So this is Galatians five and thirteen. Yeah, we we'll, we'll do thirteen. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love, serve one another. So this is letting you know that, um, how, can, how can I say it? This is letting you know that don't use the flesh for this occasion. This occasion, yeah, we, the, the, the spirit is uh, willing and the flesh is weak. All right? And we see that so lucky. I'm just losing the train of thought of words. We can see that these men are not going to be out there lusting after their flesh. They're going to always be in the spirit. That's the words that I was trying to say. So verse 14, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, Take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So this is a letter out 
to the elect men. Verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Because now you should be able to see that they are warring against each other. One has to die. It's either the flesh has to die, or you're going to have to, basically, you're going to, you're going to, or, or the spirit is just going to leave you. And then you're going to fulfill the, the, the lust of your flesh. Because the spirit doesn't die, it just leaves. So therefore, always maintain walking in the spirit. The elect, these elect men are always going to be in the spirit. The flesh will get them from time to time, but you will see that the spirit is willing and they're going to they're going to uh, basically mortify the members. They're going to be so. Um, how can I say it? They're going to be so into the spirit that the, the, the carnal things of the body of the flesh would not give them any satisfaction. Pleasing the Lord, pleasing the most high. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Them pleasing, that is going to be the most pleasing to them. This is why you're going to see them continually walk in the spirit. So verse 17 again, and it reads on. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that ye would. Why? Because these things, uh, the things uh, are from the flesh, it'll help you. Uh, so like you not help you. It would... Um, Basically, to tear you away from the truth by you keep focusing on the flesh. So verse 18. But if you be led by Salaki, if you be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. Em emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not enter, shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So there's a clear indication to let you know that the elect men, they will not be doing all of these things. They're not going to be committing adultery, having wrath, strifes, seditions among people, dividing people, heresies, different doctrines. They're all going to be on one accord. So this is not the men of the Lord when you see them do these things. Verse 22, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law and they that are uh, Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. So there's a letter out to the elect saying, always continually walk in the spirit. This is going to be an indicator to let you know that this half had to be the chosen man. But no one's not going to know until the day of 2nd Ezra 16. This is when we're going to know. But these elect men, these men that have been called they will be practicing the fruits of the Spirit. Why? Because they're going to be walking in the Spirit continually. So this is Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Uh, verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, 
and there is none else. So now we see the Most High. He's telling you, he's letting the elect men know that there is none. There is no one beside him. He is the one that created us. I'm, I'm uh, going ahead of myself. Verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, so this is letting you know, Salakia, uh, the Most High, he's, he's letting his elect men know through the Spirit that he makes the peace and he creates the evil. He's the supreme ruler of all things. Everything is written. It's going to go the same way that he said it's going to go. The prophecies are going to happen the same way that it's going to happen. He's telling you that it's going to take some time, keep patience, and keep waking up the elect men. The more that you do it, the more the men are going to wake up. The more you keep preaching into the ends of the earth, the quicker the salvation. Because when these men wake up, you're going to see these men. They're going to be constantly enduring in the spirit. All right? I don't know why I put that one on there. Oh, and uh, this is uh, I don't want to make the lesson too long. It's going to be like a little short lesson. Um, we can start at one. This is Colossians three and one. If ye then be risen with uh, Yahweh Seek those things which are above, where uh, Yahweh sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affection on things above, not on the things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High. When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. He's going out to the churches, going out to the uh, elect men. Mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil con uh, con concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. So it's letting you know, we all lived in it before. These elect men lived in it as well. But they was preserved, such as you see the men that have been called. We all have been preserved. Because we all could be caught up out there. We could be smoking weed. We could be uh, we can be doing all. We could be popping pills, committing adultery. We could be doing all type of abominable acts. We could be eating pork, swine's flesh, crabs, shrimp, all all the abominable things. He could have left us out there, but therefore the men that he called, he's giving them a chance, hope, to make their election sure, hopefully. Hopefully, Lord willing, that we, we we can be one of those men. But we know not everyone's going to be that man. They're not going to be the elect men. They may be of the elect, the men, children, and uh, that's going to walk into the uh, kingdom because they believe. But the hundred and forty-four thousand—that's the one. That's the man. That's that's who a lot of brothers. That's who we want to be. That's what we're going to push. Lord willing, we're one of those men. Let me see. Let me see where I'm at. I lost my place. It was seven. Um, verse eight. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds 
And that's exactly what the uh, elect men are going to do. They're going to take off that old man. They're going to throw him away. They're going to leave him out there in the world. They're not even going to think about him. Because the new man, they're going to be into a brotherhood. They're not going to lie to each other. They're not going to try to sleep with their uh, with, with their brother's wife. It's, it's, it's going to be another whole new mindset away from the average nigga that's out there. The two-thirds. His mind is going to be so focused on the scriptures, on the law, that he's not going to do anything to harm his brother. He's not going to lie to his brother. He's going to do as the scripture says. Love thy neighbor as thy love, uh, uh, love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. You can see the brothers, we love ourselves. We don't eat anything abominable. This, 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 we don't smoke weed. We don't, we don't, uh, um, we don't pop pills. We don't just do all type of abominable acts. We don't try to sleep with no damn animals or anything like the heathens out there doing. We don't eat dogs. We love our temple so much. Why? Because the Most High preserved it for us. Now, when we see our brother going off, we try to tell him. But if the brother don't want to hear it, that means he never was your brother. He's just someone who crept in on the wares, as it read in the book of Jude. But the elect men... They're going to know. They're going to stay and uh, they're going to keep walking in the spirit. Why? Because they threw that old man off with his deeds. All right. So this is verse 10 and have, uh, verse 10 and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. We're going to know. We're going to know the knowledge of the most high. His will. His purpose. All of that's going to be known in the in this song. That's in Revelation 14 and 1. We're going to have, we're going to eat the whole scroll. We're going to know everything good and everything bitter. Just as it said in the, in the book of Genesis, uh, when the serpent uh, beguiled uh, Eve and said that ye shall be as gods. I believe that's... Uh, I don't want to quote that wrong. Let's, let's, let me get that right quick. I believe it's Genesis 3. Let's start at verse 3. But of the fruit of the tree, which is the midst of the garden, the Most High have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the Most High does know that in the days ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's exactly what is going on right now. We know the bad part. We knew the evil. We done the evil. But now the Most High has woken us up with this, with with His knowledge of Him. Now we know, we know better. We know not to go back that way. Now he's given us, he's called us to, into his righteousness. Now we can put off that old man and put this new man. This is how we get the image of him that created us. This is how we know, we know better. So therefore we know the evil. Now we're doing the good. Just as the scripture says, you, you shall be as gods. Where we are, where we are. Ye, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. What does Yahshua Allah mean? Prince of the power. Mm -mm -mm. Ye shall be as gods. Why? Because you know good and evil. Just as the scripture says right here in Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So if you are a son of the Most High, you're going to know the same things. And you're going to know to deter uh, uh, away from the evil. 
So verse 12, sorry I'm going off. I'm going off a little bit off the subject. Verse 12, put on their, oh, it's a lot, I'm going, I'm going to skip. Oh yeah. Put on therefore as the elect of the most high, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and giving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye. Verse 14, always forgive your brother. Love one another. Verse 14, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of the Most High rule in your hearts to that, Salakia, to the which also ye have called in one body and be ye thankful. Let the word of, of Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing, admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with the grace in the hearts to the Lord, Yahweh. Verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by him. So for all you Old Testament Israelites, that's a bit cut right there. Always give thanks to the Most High. In the name of Yahweh Shai. And this is what the elect men are going to be doing. They're going to believe on the Son. Just as the scripture says. Um, um, ah, man. I, I believe it's uh, whosoever. Um, let me get that. Out of his belly shall flow. Belly. It should look up. There it is, John 7, 38. I cannot remember that. So this is John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This is Colossians 3. Right. So out of your belly it shall flow, out of your mind you should flow. You should have a bunch of wisdom and knowledge. This is how you're going to go to this, uh, this exact verse. Right here, 16. When it says, Let the word of Hamashiach, Yehoshai, dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, Singing with the grace in your hearts to the Lord. This is what the elect men are going to be doing daily. Daily. They're going to be thankful for the things that they have. And it's all going to be through Yahweh Shai. And we're going to give thanks to the Most High through, uh, through Yahweh Shai. You have to... Uh, <clears throat> so like you, you have to glorify the son as well. You have to honor that. He died for our sins. The elect men as well. All of this thing, we, 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 we wouldn't even have the book open. The book would not be open for us to even understand. He would not be able to sup with us. So the elect men, they're going to believe on Yahweh Shai. All in their head, they're going to be singing psalms and spiritual songs and hymns, singing with grace in their hearts, in their mind. It's going to be a constantly, they're going to be in the spirit. These are the elect men. So let's go ahead and um, close up. Why did I get this one right here?
I must have skipped something. I don't know why I got this one right here, but maybe it'll come back to me later. But this is 1 Peter 2 and 6. Wherefore also it is, it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. You see? These elect men, they're not never going to be confounded. Why? Because they believe it on the Son of the Most High, which is the chief cornerstone, which is the elect, which is precious. He that believeth on him shall not be confounded. It's, it links up with the, uh, John 7 and 38. 1 Peter 2 and 7. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of a fence, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. 1 Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous, into his marvelous light. Right. Ye are into his marvelous light. You are shining so bright. You have the knowledge and the wisdom of the Most High, Wisdom, which is Yahweh Shai. He sups with you. You have to believe that he's precious. You, you, man, you, you die. You die by this word. This is what the elect men are going to be doing. The elect men, they're going to give up their life because they believe it on the scripture. They believe it on the son. They believe that he's precious. We are all lively stones and we're building up this spiritual house. I don't think I have any more left. Well, I can read 10. Which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of the Most High, which had, obta which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So this is what the elect meant. They have obtained mercy. Because the Most High is not going to be playing with everybody else that's out here. Everyone else, they are just, they, they are doomed for destruction. The people who have not even been called, they don't even have a choice. They don't even believe on your house, They don't have a choice. Now that you're in this marvelous in this marvelous light, and you believe on your house, and you believe that he is uh Salaki, and you believe that he is precious. Trust me, you got a good chance at hopefully being one of those men. Not saying that you are, but you have a better chance than everyone that is out there. Everyone that is out there, ye are chosen of the Most High and precious. This is the elect men. If you've been called and you take this Serious. Trust me. The Most High, he's, he's, he's looking at all your works right now. He's looking even, he's looking at mine. I've been trying to put the videos up for days. My phone won't let me upload anything. The computer last night, I was doing the lesson last night. The computer just shut off. I've been trying to put videos up for the past two days. And I, man, this, this, I'm doing another video. Eventually, I'll try to get a chance to upload those videos, but this one, I pray and I hope that this one is going to go through because I, I, I hope that the people will be able to see it. They elect men. They're, they've been called. They're waking up. They're becoming that great army as it states in Ezekiel 37. Remember, the Most High called you into his marvelous light. It's no time for you to get proud like certain uh, 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 certain of the other Israelite groups that are out there. You see some of the men, they're getting proud. They've been proud in Babylon. 
if it's something that I go off on anything or any scriptures, man, I, I'm sure the brothers will get on me and tell me, hey, brother, you're going off. I'll delete the video, I'll do an apology, and I'll redo the video. There's no time for us to be proud and we see the prophecies happening. They're making jokes about the RFID chip. We already know the, 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 the men that have been called the true men, we already see that they are not of the elect. They out there, they're rapping, they're getting married, they partying, they in mirth. They don't know that they don't know what's going on. The most high just let them hurt. They the most high let them hear it. He let them hear it. But probably a lot of them that probably for them to hear it just so they can get destroyed. That's 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 the that's the crazy thing about it. You we don't we don't know. Those could be the people from back then. Um Salakia. Those could be the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees. Those, those could be their children. They, they, they could be them, Salakia. Bringing them into this truth just to destroy them. To make them think that they're in the truth. That's a scary thing. That's a very scary thing. This is why you hope and you pray that you are one of these men. That you may have mercy because as it states right here in verse 10, which had not obtained mercy, but now have, but now have obtained mercy. If you didn't get called, you don't have no type of mercy. He's blocked you. He's made you reprobate. He has rejected you. This is states in the, in the book of uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. That's, that's, a, that's the uh, prophecy. Two-thirds have to get cut off and die. Lord willing, I'm not one of those men. Even though I'm pushing this work out right now, man, man, we don't know, man. This man, we, this, this is the most high. You come with trembling and fear. So um, hopefully this can be uh, somewhat edifying to the Akim out there to kind of open up your uh, the eyes to see that if anything is a stumbling block to you, you know, it, it, we, we don't, you don't know. Just, just pray fast. Just have faith that hopefully the Most High can, can, can bring you over that, 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 that stone of stumbling so that you don't fall like the rest of everyone else. But the elect men, they're going to hear this truth no matter what. They may come in through these different other Israelite groups, but they're going to somehow find their way to the truth. Just as I did. Not saying that I'm, I'm of the elect, but I've been called. And he's given me a good understanding of the scriptures. And I hope and I continue that he keeps giving me the wisdom and knowledge that he sups with me every night. I hope, I hope and I pray I can keep the faith all the way to the end. So, hopefully this has been somewhat edifying for the brothers. Maybe it'll help you analyze, take a look at yourself. If you're doing anything of, of the flesh, it'll make you, you know, kind of try to walk in the spirit more. So, um, i go ahead and just go ahead and, uh, we can go ahead and end the lesson now. But always remember, man, Yahweh Shai, he is precious and those who believe on him, you won't be confounded. I believe that till death. So um, I'd like to give another double honors to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to the Akim pushing and doing his work in sincerity and in truth. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. We're almost there. This is the brother Malachiah. Shalom.